Hello everyone, my name is Abayomi. Today we will explore a REST client tool that can be used to test your web API. It serves as an alternative to tools like Postman or Insomnia. This is useful if you primarily use IntelliJ ID as your main ID for languages like Java or Kotlin or even Node.js and you don't want to subscribe to the Ultimate Edition. Essentially, we have if you come to IntelliJ IDEA and you want you click on download, you have the option of choosing IntelliJ IDEA at the Ultimate Edition or you click on the Community Edition. This one is free, but if you want to go for the Ultimate version, you can try it for 30 days and afterwards you pay for it. So this video is for people who don't want to subscribe to the Ultimate Edition and or people who want to avoid switching between their ID and their REST client. Without further ado, let's get right into it. I'll be using the Spring Initializer to bootstrap a Spring Boot application, which is used for creating a web app in Java. So Spring Boot is one of the best framework to use. So I've had my dependency, I'll just add one. I'll call it Spring Web. And I'll choose my build two as Maven, and I'll choose the latest version here. I'll give it a B code as my group name. The artifact name will be let's call it REST two, like so. Then just do REST write using an alternative to rest clients like postman then so the package should be jar if you want to use what you can use i'll use this guy then i'll click on generate so that i can download it from here i'll save this project in my downloads folder i'll click on save that was saving uh, then i'll open with intellij idea After downloading, you open the zip folder, and then you can open with your IntelliJ idea. Then we have the pom.xml file where we can install all our dependencies. Then we have a source main folder, the Java, and this is our Spring Boot app. So I'll quickly change the ports in my application.properties. I'll call the server.ports me to 9991 because i have an application running on port 8080 which is the default port of spring boot so quickly i'll create a new class and i'll call it let me just do home controller then i'll use the annotation of rest controller REST controller, then I'll use our request mapping. This is not required. Request mapping you can give it like API, like so. Then I'll create a get mapping. I'll call it, uh, let's call it home. Then we have a public, then let's return a map of string, map of string. Then have a string here we can call it index so the name of our method is called index then this guy will return a map of of can say message then we can do hello world like so then we need to close this guy then if i run my app what the spring boots now run this guy So we should have the app started on port 9991. So to test our get API, one of the ways is to go to your browser and do localhost 9991 then against API home. So we have the hello world here. But if you want to use tools like Postman, you need to switch between 
your ID and postman, but you can install a plugin called Cool Request. So if you press Shift twice, then you can search for plugins. Then if you go to the marketplace, you can search for Cool Request. Cool Request. So I have it already installed. So I'm gonna be doing that again. Can cancel. So this is the icon. Click on Cool Request. So this folder are integrated with your controller, so it will recognize your REST controller, and you can uh, just in case you have your web socket, it will pick it up. If you have your scheduler and so on and so forth. So in our case, I will open this REST tool. Then this is our com.ab code REST tool. So this is our com.ab code. Then the REST tool project, and this is our home controller. And if I click, you can see the API home even without writing any code then you can just click on send then you have hello world and just in case you have your post request to just mimic one here post mapping to i'll do send let's return a string let's return a string a string i'll do create like so then return um uh, let's create a new java class i'll call it um let's call it player player I'll give it an id private long id then private string name like so then we can generate Constructor, I'm iterize constructor, then we generate a new argument constructor. Just in case you're gonna use that, then let's generate a uh, get and setter. I'm not sure if we're using this, but let's just generate it. Then we have our player here. Then let's just uh, assume that we want to create a post request. Then you can do at request body, request body. Then we can put in our player request and call this guy player. Then here, instead of returning string, let's return player. Then we can do new player. Uh, then we can pass the ID as one. Then the name as Ronaldo, like so. Uh, let's see. It's saying long on it. Okay, let me just use. Let's use integer. Let's call it integer. 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 Turn on integer. Then turn on. Like so. So what is the issue? I think okay, it's gone now. So if I rerun my application, then I come back here, then I click on refresh, you can see the post request. So this is P stand for post and G stand for get request. If I click here, you can see it will, so it will dump your fields there. We have the name and the ID even without writing it manually. So I think that is one of the selling points of, of this plugin here. I don't know if any other tool can replicate what we have here, picking the the payload from your controller and dumping it inside your clients automatically. So this is how you can use this plugin called Code Request to quickly test your REST API without switching from the ID to your REST tool. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Thank you.